Lisa from Life in Layouts and I have another layout for you in my Snow What Snow video series. Today I'm going to be using a sketch from Page Mats from January of 2012. This is the sketch that I'm going to be using. It is a one page sketch and I am actually going to do a one page layout as well. I did decide to pull out some red cardstock for this particular layout. I was really trying to use up all of the paper in this collection, but I just didn't want to use a colored background like from the collection. So I thought the red really pulled in the colors, not only in Nicole's shirt, but also in the collection as well. So because Nicole is wearing a red shirt, I felt like I needed to double matte this particular photo and I wanted that red. So I just went ahead and used the white cardstock and then the background piece to matte the photo. And I love doing that because then I don't feel like I've wasted any paper. I'm going to add this polka dotted paper at the top. And then down below, I'm gonna add this like darker snow paper. One of the benefits of using an entire collection and like doing it all together in once uh, is that I have these scrap pieces left over that I end up working perfectly into a layout. So I may not have used that particular card if I was just doing this layout all by itself, but because I know that I'm not gonna be using that card, I've already uh, did a layout with it. I didn't need to worry about like saving it for another layout. And I really like that. I did go ahead and take this stripe paper and use my border punch. I have like a scallop border punch. So I went ahead and used that and I'm gonna add that right down to the side of the center of the layout. I do go ahead and ink up my edges just to give it a little bit more distress. I really think that it has to do with the fact that I love that green color so much that I try to incorporate it as much as possible. Once I get the paper down, I do go ahead and use some washi tape on the back to make sure that I don't have any issues with that coming up. Then I'm going to make a very tiny border with this border punch. I go ahead and cut it out and I think it's like less than a quarter of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, but it just fits so well. And I just love the way that it turned out. For this particular layout, I was pulling out anything that had to do with hot cocoa. And I found this card, I needed a, a good size card for journaling, so I went ahead and used that. And then I cut out a circle. I did the same thing with another layout where these smaller stickers, I added it to a circle and it really helped the title stand out more than if I was just to put it directly on the layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up the edges of each one of these pieces and add them down as well. And that journaling piece is gonna be flat since I am gonna to have to write on it. I felt like I needed to make sure that it was flat and I didn't have any fun foam that I had to write over. I do use fun foam up on my photo and make that stand out a little bit more. I feel like it really gives that area a pop. I, at first I thought I was going to have this border like facing downward, but once I get the adhesive on it, I think it was more of an accident to have it lay up straight or like face upwards, but I like the way that this looks better than if I had done it the other way. And then I'm going to add the title right there with that like area that's just really a mess right now because I've got the tag overlaid with the little quarter inch strip and that circle just brings all those pieces together. I went ahead and used the ephemera piece with the hot cocoa over on the right to give that embellishment some weight on both sides so it really kind of evened it out and then i am just looking through the stickers trying to find anything that has hot cocoa on it and so i pulled out a smaller sticker that has some hot cocoa and then i'm also going to add a round sticker that said that has some hot cocoa on it and then i added a tag at the top that says chillin over on the far right hand side i am going to add some word phrases that say keep warm and snuggle up snow much fun and all bundled up this layout is showcasing this cheese cutter. And it, like, it really has nothing to do with the, you know, going and seeing snow, being up there. But you know, when you are stuck in a cabin, sometimes the craziest things entertain you. And this cheese slicer was like the best thing since sliced bread. It just, I don't know, it. I love the way that it worked. We used it a ton when we were there. Um, it just, it's a simple cheese cutter, but I just loved it. Up there at the top, I go ahead and add a little bunny with some skis just because he's super cute. And then I added a square that had another 
hot cocoa on it and then a snowflake and I'm also going to add a title that says winter memories up there next to it just to add a few more words to it because I have a ton of words in this collection. So my journaling is gonna say, our stay in the cabin was amazing. However, this cheese board was over the top. It may be a simple thing, but that is usually all it takes for me. All right, everyone, here is my final layout, as well as some close-ups. Thanks so much for coming along with me in this journey of getting these layouts completed. I hope you're enjoying watching them as much as I am creating them. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more inspiration from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope that you have a scrappy day.